Let's go. Oh my God. Wow, that was smooth. So those flaps. Oh, big airplane, big airplane. It's oh. pretty. I like the red on the front. That looks Man. nice. <laughs> Listen to that. Roar. Here's full throttle while well, we got it. Whoa. Oh, no, it sounds like my prop is a little bit off balance. I was going to say. Big, heavy prop. <laughs> I think you got some work to do on that prop. Whoa. Yeah. A little bit of off balance on that prop. Let's say a lot of off I'm balance. I'm very concerned. Why don't you look at it? We're going to land it and look at it. <laughs> so let's go half flaps, maybe full flaps. Full flaps will be nice. Slow this thing down. We'll take a look and see what's vibrating. And definitely put it back in the air. Wow. Oh, oh I do. Oh. 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 You should have put it down the first yep, time. Should have. That was that the cow, cow and your just whole exploded. Your whole motor is dangling right wow. now. Wow. This is legitimately the biggest airplane I've ever owned or will have flown. Let's hope it goes well. And I can say successfully have flown. I'm six foot four inches tall, and from the wingtip to my head, it is taller than me. This is officially a bigger airplane than I am tall. And that's exciting and scary, but I love larger airplanes. They tend to fly usually really well. And I've heard that this FMS Beaver is an exceptional airplane. We're gonna fly on a 6S battery today. This is an official Maiden. I've never so much as had this powered on other just to make sure the props spin the right way. So I'm nervous and excited. The usual Maiden jitters. <laughs> This plane has flaps, ailerons, rudder, elevator, throttle, of course, and very nice lights. I also really like the attention to detail, like our Vortex generators here. They are optional, but I put them on just because they are there. The antennas just, this all went together really well. Uh, I think the only thing that slowed me down at all was the size of this airplane, because as I was putting it together in the house, it's kind of like, okay, all right, don't hit the light, don't hit the lamp, don't hit the everything around me, just so I can spin it to move it. But once it's together, I love how this thing pieces together. It's actually extremely easy. Check out how the wing connects, you guys. There are these really cool little bullet plugs. You can see now, uh, we're gonna just take two bolts off, holding each wing on, so a total of four bolts, and then these just plug right in. So I took both main sets of wings off, two main pieces, so, you know, each wing half and then the main fuselage is how we transferred this in the car. And, you know, it took me an extra minute to put each wing half on. So two to three extra minutes before I'm flying. That's not too bad considering the size of airplane. Um, I'm really excited to fly this. And if you're interested in knowing more of the details, I'll have a link in the description box below. Let's fly. Abby, I just want to give you a perspective shot one more time. <laughs> <laughs> huge massive biggest plane biggest plane uh are you excited flown. nervous very nervous yeah <laughs> nerves of just going nerves crazy. of steel no, no i was gonna nerves say nerves of, of jello soft jello yeah <laughs> <laughs> you ready yeah okay i'm not let's go oh my god wow that was smooth let's go those flaps my goodness it's gonna need a touch of trim but, oh, big airplane, big airplane. It's oh. pretty. I like the red on the front. That looks Man. nice. <laughs> Listen to that. Roar. Oh, nice, 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 nice. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, I'm just not using safe at all on this. Um, so remember, this is linked in the description box. And if you use our links, you do help support our channel and our family and we are forever grateful for you choosing to support a uh, family friendly channel it means a lot to us guys it means a lot to us just not enough of that content out there in the world and i uh, just want to take a just proud i'm just proud of that you know we've got a bit of an audience and i do not like having an audience on a maiden flight <laughs> <laughs> a couple people up here just watching and uh that's fine but oh i'm nervous you know there's hands free I feel like I got it pretty good. Maybe do two clicks, three clicks of up. Eh, two was good. A little left roll. This is nice, Abby. This is so nice. Oh, the rudder authority is good. Wow. Good. That was a lot. Here's full throttle while well, we got it. Whoa. Oh, 
Now, it sounds like my prop is a little bit off balance. I was gonna it's a say. big, heavy prop. <laughs> Not supposed to sound like that, so much it's vibration. A loud. Let's do it again, just because it sounded nice. I think you got some work to do on that prop. Whoa. Yeah. For such a big Try that one. again. That was cool. I was not ready for that, even though you really? told me. I mean, I got it, it, but barely. Okay. Sweet airplane. Wow, this thing flies really good. But that's what I was saying. Big airplanes tend Ooh. to do that. A little bit of off balance on that prop. Let's say a lot of off balance. <laughs> very concerned about your property. I got something clicking. <laughs> Maybe the cowl is a little bit. You know what? I did notice the cowl seemed to be. Why don't you look at it? We're going to land it and look at it. <laughs> it Safety first. It yeah, seems to be getting louder. Throttle. Hear that? It's like tooting. There, 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 there. Eh. Land it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I keep seeing these lights on the front of the wing and they look really good. Even in this super bright daylight, I can see those lights. Let's go half flaps, maybe full flaps. Full flaps will be nice. Slow this thing down. We'll take a look and see what's vibrating and definitely put it back in the air. Wow. Oh, oh I knew. Oh. Oh, I knew. Oh. You should have put it down the first yep, time. Should have. That was that the cow, cow and your just whole exploded. Your whole motor is dangling right wow. now. Wow. Well, that's by far the most epic explosion I've ever had on an electric plane. I mean, that looks like a gas explosion. Uh, the cowl just completely shredded when I'm guessing for, let's turn this off for safety guys. Yeah. Cause the whole motor got now, cut and that's right. And I just don't want cut. that to kick on. A little bit of shrapnel came inside the airplane. Um, Definitely, uh, I just thought because of the size of the airplane, maybe it was something a bit off balance and a little vibration was okay. But now that that's unplugged and the radio's off, we're safe to mess with this here. Now, I'm pretty sure this is one of my first FMS airplanes too. Uh, but check this out, the prop you can see, now the engine got shredded when it came out, the paint off of it, the engine, the motor. That's actually very heavy. Uh, it's like the more you put it, the louder it got. Yeah, so this got chipped up, but I'm surprised the prop is actually still in one piece. It felt nice and balanced. Listen, you know, of course you're going to do a pre-flight test on something like this. And it felt nice and balanced before I flew at home. When I throttled up, make sure everything feels good. Came out here and it was a little bit loud, but I knew that the cowl around here was just like loose because there's only a screw here, maybe one on the bottom, possibly two on the side. So I knew we had some flap. Uh, and I just, the, the vibrating, well, as we flew it, we both realized it was getting louder. So I came around ready to land it. We, we did, I flew one pass too many, yep. but in all fairness, I did agree for safety's sake, we should land before the end of the flight. And it just was what? 30 seconds too late. Yep. One and, pass too late. <laughs> and here we are with a uh, completely destroyed cow. Let's see if we can go find the explosion area. I'll be honest, that was a pretty epic explosion. There's I mean, peace. truly. We're going to pick this up because we don't litter. Peace. There's pieces. Peace. I mean, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. Except I don't, I don't know what that is. But... That looks like toilet paper. <laughs> so I'm not going to touch that. There's peace over there. Wow. Oh, wow. Here's more pieces. Yeah. That's... Okay. I got I to gotta help. <laughs> Here. That's the biggest piece. Look, yeah. I mean, it just literally shredded it. Exploded. That was. That was like an engine explosion. And, and I'm so happy I got to bring the rest of the airplane down in smooth. I mean, I feel like I recovered that pretty nicely. You did very nice. Well, it looks like an eggshell, doesn't it? All the little pieces. I'm, uh, I'm fairly speechless, I guess. I don't really know what happened. Uh, I've never seen anything like that happen before. But that's what happened. And you know us here on our channel. We're going to share our honest experience with you guys. I knew we could hear it was a bit loud, but again, I thought that was just that large cowl because it's a large airplane flying. Abby called it right before me, Nate, time to land. And I thought it sounded like it got quieter because again, I just thought the cowl was just flapping in the wind. You know, I, I didn't predict that happening, uh, but I agreed. Okay, it's a little loud, let's take a look. And it's weird because even though I was cranking at full throttle, getting a feel for the airplane, having fun. It didn't do that it when didn't you were do full that throttle. 
higher RPMs, but when I throttled down to come in for a landing, and I was maybe half throttle or less, boom! Just something caught that prop wrong and just completely got destroyed. So there you go. Uh, I'm sure I'm positive that Horizon will do the right, I got this on Horizon's website. I'm absolutely positive they'll do the right thing. And, and I think that's probably the best thing to remember about this. They have amazing customer service. This was a maiden flight, that happened. They're obviously going to like ask for a reenactment of what happened and I am absolutely sure they'll do the right thing. And maybe the one thing to take away from this is they've got the best customer service out there. I, I, I you know, I've had like bad receiver come on an RC truck, an RC crawler. They ask a few questions and usually they just, yeah, sounds like you got a bad receiver. And, and so they've sent me that receiver on, on an old crawler I had years ago. And I've heard tons of stories from you guys where they send part after part until you're happy, you know? So like, don't abuse the system, but know that it's there to help you out. And I'm sure that will come in handy now. Um, and it does help that we have a video of it happening, you know? It doesn't hurt at all. So, <clears throat> crazy. More than ever, this is an opportunity for me to give an AMA shout out, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It doesn't matter how experienced you are sometimes. We, we were experienced enough to realize something doesn't sound right, it's time to come in. Unfortunately, it was 10 seconds too late. That's literally what, I mean, within five seconds, five seconds I would have been safely on the ground. Yeah. I landed this thing with an exploded motor <laughs> and cowl. I mean, it kicked off too, so I'm very impressed you got landed. As soon as I saw the explosion, throttle was down and I just, committed to landing it uh, and so experience came in for that matter but who knows when that could have exploded I could have just been getting a gust been of, over the building over there that's right hit a gust of wind the wrong way a little disoriented go over the building for a half second and at that pitch boom cowl explodes or who knows what could happen that was totally out of my control totally and the Academy of Model Aeronautics if, if anything would have happened would have stepped in and I think that's all I need to say about that. So we show all these perfect flights or near perfect flights all the time where we have success, what we consider success, just fun. Um, and, and here you have something that's out of our control and that's why I'm glad I've got AMA in my pocket. Uh, I'm gonna be an active member for as long as I fly, always. So I will never consider flying without having it. And if you wanna learn more about it and the many benefits you have, but the main thing I'm preaching here is the insurance. It's linked in the description box below. A massive thanks to God for keeping everybody safe. When this happened, it was as safe as it could possibly be on that kind of an incident. Mm -hmm. Big thanks to the big guy upstairs for just really keeping everybody safe in this incident. And also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because of you guys, we jump in front of the camera, full transparency, no holdbacks, that's because of our Patreon supporters mixed with, combined with our moral compasses. And uh, man, thank you guys. Just seriously, thank you. We'll have another awesome RC plane video because this, this was awesome, but not in the awesome kind of way. But we'll have a more successful, really cool airplane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.